hanging with me. Yep, we're not hanging around. Uh, just saying a sweet little kiss to heaven. Lovely to see you again. All guffed up. <coughs> Alright. Well, we've done our introductions. We've done everything we need to in Hollywood pretty much. Except for the quest that takes us into Chinatown in the first place. From Gary. The Nasuatu. Not as gorgeous as he was in his life, but here's the judge beauty standards. <laughs> right, so we're finding his friend. And we did see somebody get kidnapped. Some girl getting kidnapped, but we'll get to that kidnapper situation soon enough. Oh, anything I need to sell? Nope, this is all stuff. Oh, I do not have someone to speak to, however. We've got, <coughs> excuse me, one more outfit. Hop in. At least one more outfit to grab. I wish I'd talk to the man in the office and maybe he can help us. Oh yes, and then I'll get my supplies and I'll immediately talk to you, my dear. Because clearly you've got a mission for me. Oh, we're coming to this place a few times. Right, well, uh, how said seduction would be pretty good. Oh, hey, dude. I'd say hi at some point. Uh, I could try. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. None of those little deduction lines will work. Because that's instant rejection. Ooh, what's in the paper? Oh, that. <laughs> hey. Um, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Dinner service stopped a little while ago. But our lounge is still open. I'm here to see Wong Ho. Ming Zhao sent me. I'll get the elevator. Thank you. Second floor, have a good night. Goodbye. Oh, secret elevator! Gotta love a secret elevator. <laughs> and up we go. Hello. This is, hey, baby. No, I'm this is a Why very nice looking elevator. Right yeah. <laughs> what else? With a what? Oh, you're in the kitchen. Yeah, they were on sale, so I bought some. <laughs> you do too, like zucchini. Yeah, I think we'll skip her dialogue because that's they not took just her. it. Oh. They took her. Uh, what happened? Kiki, my <clears throat> daughter. They grabbed her. They called and said, Wong Ho has meddled with Tong for the last time. Uh, this might not be the best time, but Ming Zhao sent me to talk with you. Ming Zhao? Oh, of course. Please forgive me, but as you can see, I am in a most terrible situation. I am Wong Ho, owner of the Red Dragon. Again, I apologize for my inconsiderate behavior. No problem. What's going on, Wong Ho? The Tong. A local street gang here in Chinatown just broke into my restaurant and kidnapped my daughter at gunpoint. <clears throat> the Tong grow more bold every day, and now they have my Kiki. <laughs> uh... Why would... They want your daughter. I am a man of some prominence here in Chinatown. I have many allies, but there are also many who would like to see my demise. The Tong have chosen the coward's path, using my daughter as leverage against me. Uh, leverage for what? I do not know. I will <clears throat> undoubtedly hear from the Tong very shortly. They will have demands, and then perhaps we will know more. Um, do you know where they took your daughter? No. The oh, Tong hello. have Uncle. many... Uh, wait. Please excuse me a moment. Hello. Zhao. Huh? Yes. 
How did you... Of course. I see. Thank you, my friend. Your debt has been repaid a thousand times over. Yes. Of course. Goodbye. That doesn't sound like the tongue. That was... That's more like a fuck. Someone who owed me an old debt. It has been repaid. I know where the Tong are keeping my daughter. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm, I think you're not gonna help unless we take care of the daughter problem, so... Get your card already. Kiki is being held <clears throat> at the Lotus Blossom, a massage parlor here in Chinatown. If you bring her back to me, I will help you in any way that I can. Well, that wasn't very far they took her. I don't think your tongue are very effective. Sure, I'll bring her back, then we'll get business done. Thank you. I shall wait here until you return. Strike fast. The Tong will not be expecting anyone so soon. Good luck, my friend. See ya. Uh, gonna chat to you again. Hello. Have you found Kiki? Is she safe? Uh, then may the gods light your path and guide you in bringing my daughter home to me. Right, so you're not gonna talk to me until I get your bloody bottle daughter. <coughs> I was hoping you'd be able to tell me where I can find some guns. That's my cash. Ooh, cash is good. pretty good. My blood is very, very good. I'm running out of elder blood. Oh, excuse me. Wait, there's Elysium in a human location. Hi. Pardon me. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Thanks. Let's have a nosy. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is an, an ominous looking. Uh, herbal sh Yep, herbal shop. Herbal shop. What herbs can you sell me, my good man? Hi! Welcome to Sang's Herbal Remedies. I am Sang. How may I assist you? Hey. Uh... I need a remedy for a tongue problem. It's kind of changing colour. Tong, did you try diplomacy? Uh... I didn't think they would listen. Got any peacemakers? Hold on, please. These are good remedies for many problems. No credit cards. <laughs> Excellent. Let's see what you got. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh, another sword. How's, how's the compare against my current... Oh, wait. I'm actually not going to buy the sword because I'm going to... But in Chinatown, we're going to get a lot of... Oh, yes. New outfit! Woohoo! Um, let's see. No, I'm not a fan of Ootsies. No. I got blood magic! <laughs> um, no, I think we're good. Thank you, good sir. For your remedy. And let's have an upper change. Where are you? There we go. Oh, wow. I am looking fabulous. <laughs> yeah, let's have a good look at me. Oh, can I have this coat in reality? This is such a wicked coat. The effect somebody has actually made this in reality. 
yep. Uncle will help me, but I've got things to deal with first. Firstly, who are you? You're new. Who are you? I just asked. Depends who's asking, I guess. <laughs> I'm Kalyan. No offense, but you stand out like a sore thumb. What are you doing on this side of town? Hello, Kalyan. Uh, I don't know. Is there anything to do in this city? Things have just been tense around here lately. I can't put my finger on what the hell it is, but I'm really tired of walking on eggshells around the other qua- mm, Denizens here. What do you say we go have some fun? Wait, what were you about to say? It's nothing, never mind. Forget it. Look, if there's something unusual about you, you can tell me. Trust me. Wait, listen, I think there's something you should know about me first if you're not going to share. I know what you are, Kindred. But I don't give a damn. We're beasts of the same blood. Alright. Uh, I don't follow you. I'm Kui Jin. Wang Kui. An Asian vampire, whatever you want to call it. But I'm supernatural, just like you. Sweet. Uh, that's a lot of dialogue there. Yeah, why would you want to hang out with a Western vampire? Get to know me a little better. It'll all start to make perfect sense. My philosophy is to understand the living as well as I can. Figuring out the other unliving, it's just the other side of the same coin. If I can safely spend a night with one of your kind, then I'll be that much wiser. That's a fair logic. Uh, yeah. Why me? This can't be the first time you've met a western vampire. Well, it's because you're just so special and magical to me. <laughs> but seriously, I know how new you are to this. I know you're not entrenched in the politics the others waste their time on. So, I'm hoping you won't judge my offer by what's on the surface, and instead just let go and enjoy a night of dining and fucking with me. Sounds like a plan. I do like dining. Well... Screw it, let's do this! Hell yeah, that's what I like to hear! So, what did you have in mind? I've heard Hollywood has some killer strip joints. Wanna check it out? Great, I think I know just the place. My friend owns it. The one whose heart I stole. And it's very pink. So, grab a couple girls, enjoy a slow dance, then take them down fast. Sound like a plan? Ooh. You don't slow down, do you? Oh, of course not. I want to grab every knight by the balls and twist it around until it screams and shows me everything it's made of. I love it. So, how did you want to handle the bankroll for this event? Here, let me pick up the tab for us. My treat. Oh, thank you. I'll go talk to some of the girls. Meet me in that room in the back, and we'll start our little party. Sounds good. Wait, how did... Wait, how did... How'd you feed exactly? What do you mean? You walk up, poke a couple holes in her neck, and drink the blood. Uh... <laughs> uh, whatever you do. What? You think I'm some kind of corpse scrapping chin mei? No, I was just asking. I don't even know what a chin mei is. It's Quay Jean for carnival whore. You think I'm some kind of carnival whore? No, I don't know where you're getting this from. <laughs> 
I'm fucking with you. God, you're gullible. I... I Most I, Quajin, when they start the young life, are mindless savages. They'll eat anything to get their chi fix, including flesh and bones. We call them Chinmei. Ah... Uh, so... Why you a Chinmei, what? I don't know. Aren't you just some undead rape victim? Don't. Ask. Me. That question. Hey, I'm... I'm sorry, that I've been... This is our subject. <sighs> Look. Let's just get this started. I'll see you in the back. Uh, I'll be back. I'll try that again. <laughs> okay. Here, <laughs> let me pick up the tab for us. My treat. Oh, thank you. I'll go talk to some of the girls. Meet me in that room in the back, and we'll start our little party. Sounds good. Hey, teleported! I do hope you're wearing clothing. <laughs> well, some form of clothing. Yes, they are. Okay. This is... Uh-oh. Uh hmm. <laughs> Looks like I got... Oh, looks like we got carried away. It was hard to let go. She was so fresh and spicy. And tasty. We should probably blow this joint before someone notices. Yeah, I don't want to upset Vivi. Yeah. What next? I'm ready for a little bar hopping. You know anywhere worth mentioning? And there has to be dancing. <laughs> I'm ready to dance. I'm down for the dancing. Well, you'll be excited to know. I'm actually co-owner of a place downtown. Wanna check it out? You own a club? <laughs> That's pretty sexy. What kind of scene is it? It's called Confession. Kind of a heavy to the rave scene, but also very dark and gothic. Alright, let's hit it. Let's go! This is a one hell of a party night we got going on. Hey, I'm going to grab some drinks. <laughs> what kind of drinks are you? Bartender, I'm gonna need five shots of Jack. And do you have a kitchen? Can I get a sampler plate of whatever you've got? Mm. You gotta take your shots with some crappy fried food. Mm. Or it's not a night out. Uh, that would toast a few, but I can't actually. You mean blood really is the only thing you'll eat? Ah, oh, damn! You really did get all the hard knocks in on life. Uh, you just drink and eat the nuts away then. My philosophy is simple: enjoy life, embrace your passions, your pleasures. People make themselves so unhappy resisting the things that make them feel best. I can't understand why. Societal pressures, yada yada yada, all of that. Hmm, what made you realize you wanted to spend an eternity chasing your passions? Kuei Jin largely agree that on life actually kind of sucks. And that we need some kind of tangible experience to escape it. What we don't agree on is the best way to do that. So we all come up with different, neat little ideas about the true path to enlightenment, and we call it a dharma. Hmm. Um, what do you hope to gain from your dharma? The way I see it, the only way we're going to understand what it means to be dead is to understand what it means to be alive. So, I live each night like it's my last night. This is my path in life, my dharma. Uh, and there's other dharmas besides this one? Yes, but they're all terrible. There's a dharma that would prefer to suffer for eternity rather than enjoy the life all around us. There's another path that would have us move around and study the dead. 
the dead! The chance to live again and they would waste their time on the dead! Hmm, does so Shitama have a name? It's something to be learned from the dead, to be fair. We usually refer to it as that thing the cool kids over there do. But if that's too long for you, the official title is The Dance of the Thrashing Dragon. <laughs> that's me. And now we're the dragon, so what do you want to do here? Well, wait. I've wondered about Kindred. Do you have some kind of similar path? Do you have a purpose? Uh... Hmm. Uh, we have different clans, that's kind of like a dharma. Hmm. So what's your clan's mantra? I'm a Tremere. That's all you need to know about us. Okay, Mr. Sensitive. <laughs> Didn't think it was such a big deal. Whatever. Well, enough chit-chat. What do you say we show these kids what it means to dance? I thought you'd never ask. Perfect. Let's go shake our asses until we find our next morsels. Yes, let's shake the booty! Hmm. <laughs> boogie away, boogie away. Ah, yep. Nothing like dancing around. To be fair, I do like a dance in a nightclub. That's the most. That's the thing I try to do most Tuesday, Saturday nights. In a lovely club in the city that I live nearby. It is such a boogie ad. I don't know what my character is doing there. Hey, she's trying you to dance not even here. Where it's quiet for a bit. I just met these two guys. They seem cool, and I think they might be able to hook us up. You know what I'm saying? Sweet, let's do it. Glad to see you're not some kind of uptight straight edger. Now. Just be cool. Follow my lead. Okay. What's the plan? Ah, there we go. go this way. Uh, hey guys! Uh, talk to you, or do I talk to you? So, talk to uh, you. you guys party or what? Yeah, pass it up, man! Alright, this is some premium shit, so don't cash it out. Yeah, that sounds like it was recorded for all this, but... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <coughs> Relax, I've done this before! I'll just pretend I oh. have. Hey, good job this is in England. There's, there's laws against smoking in a bar. <laughs> Smoking inside anywhere, actually. You'll feel that pretty quick. Good stuff, eh? Not bad, not bad. Hmm. Ah, you're joining the smoking party. It's just a normal cigarette. Nothing to so worry about. You and her. You guys an item or what? Not exactly, I might try to make a move, though. <sighs> oh, that's cool. I don't want to be cock-blocked, then. No way, you won't be going all home empty-handed tonight. <sighs> kill us, kill or live, kill or live. Ah, I can, I can survive. Oh. Mm, talk about a couple of winners. But at least they delivered. Tastes like he had a hint of whiskey in him. Definitely some beer. Import, I think. Quite good taste, actually. Anyways, the buzz should kick in pretty soon, so <laughs> things should get interesting. Ooh, that's it. Hey, I hope so. I'm already having a blast anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Getting crunk on stoners is just the beginning. 
You really want to get fucked up? Try sucking heroin out of a messed up drug dealer. Been there, done that. Actually hitting the bowl is just a wasted gesture at this point. But I always do it, you know, for the sake of tradition. Anyways, I think it's time we moved on, don't you? This place has a good freak show factor, but I want to take it up a notch. I want to see the freakiest place north of Orange County. Maybe even find someone to take home tonight. Hmm. I think I know just the place. How are the Mormons doing? Would they let me in? After a while, I tried to pull on them as a Tremere. <laughs> yep. I wanted to know your secrets and you kind of showed me in a way. But still, that was a journey. There! Those are the ones that left those girls for dead. I can practically smell the wretched sin fuming off of that one. Get him! Oh, please. Hunters. They never learn. Looks like we'll be sending a few more to meet their fabled god. Ah, sweet. Young kindred. Violence is nice, but we'll get the fucking boosting soon enough. <laughs> oh, we got targeted because we killed those ladies in the club. And we've killed some guys in the club. Equal opportunity. Okay, so I was thinking. This time, maybe we go try our best pickup lines to get some boys and girls to join our party, then meet up later. I don't know if my seduction is up to it. <laughs> I don't know. Don't to do number one, number two, number three. All right, cool. Grab yeah. the hottest date you can find and meet me in the balcony. Oh, I got a problem. Hello, dear. Hi. Hi, dude. Hey, sweetie. You got mirrors in those pants? <laughs> oh, I got the dialogue. Sweet. Guess that depends on who's asking, Sailor. I like it. She's hot and she's clever. So, what's going on tonight, baby? Oh, I don't know. You could change that. <laughs> Oh, I just have some girl time, but what we could really use are some hot guys at our table. Tell me and sweetheart, I'm here to party. Follow me then. Yeah, I don't have all that base. Get over here. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. This one will taste quite nice, I think. Of course. Let's do this. Bartender, I need four shots. Stack. It is really such a thing to stack at us. We left it far, far behind us tonight. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, hello again. Jeanette, I'm just out with some friends. Mmm. <laughs> I'm all gooey. Having naughty thoughts about something harder and dirtier. Pretty please, for me. Ooh, the whole group of us. Sounds interesting. Any objections, Kelly? Kelly, do you really need to ask? This ought to be absolutely delicious. I fear we're gonna skip coming on. <laughs> so let's take this to your room, shall we?
That's one more off the bucket <laughs> list. Um, that might actually be a couple off the bucket list. You had some nice moves, by the way. Not sure I'll ever get that taste out of my mouth. Not gonna say it was a practice. <laughs> How do you know the blonde bimbo anyways? The schoolgirl with Alia really works for her. Well, more precisely. It was really working for all of us. But she seemed important somehow. Couldn't quite face it. Yeah, I've helped her with some... I've helped you net with some personal matters recently. I see. So she has leadership in the court. This is part of your rule. Or... I'm throwing out a bunch of words at nothing. Uh, what's a woo? We've not heard that term. Might have something like that. The woo is like... Okay, so, imagine you die. You come back. You get taken in by this secret society. And then you find a few others. Maybe like three or four that you see eye to eye with. You guys form a sort of posse that sticks together the next 100 years or so. It's kind of like joining a new family in the afterlife, but handpicking your siblings. Uh, Mr. Barber, why are you holding your hands on thin air? <laughs> That's interesting. I sure wouldn't mind having a few people to count on. That's kind of depressing. You're tossed into this new life all alone, without so much as a friendly face. Not much different from mortal life, is it? What's a court? It's... A little complicated. All the Wu within a certain area tend to stick together, pick a leader, an elder, and handle all their shit together. Just a way to stay organized, I guess. LA, for example, we have the court in Chinatown, led by our dear, dear two-faced Ming Xiao. Anyways, your people have a similar arrangement, don't they? When you put it like that, yeah. Seems like they tried to organize, but as far as I could tell, everyone saw each other's thoughts anyway. <laughs> Your elders can't find their asses with their own hands, can they? Yeah. I hate to say, but they were right. You guys really are pretty disorganized. Yeah, it's pretty pathetic. All the more reason I tried to stay out of the whole mess. I think I'm finally ready to wind down for the night. Any chill places around here we can mellow out? Bellow out. You're fucking with me again, aren't you? No, I'm being serious this time. We all need some balance. Even me. Well, you haven't really seen Santa Monica until you've seen the, the, the pier. Let's go. The ocean is so beautiful. Not a bad way to end the night. I agree. You know, after this whole night, I still know practically nothing about you. After this much alcohol, and you still not gonna spoil your guts. Me? I... You don't really want to know. Do you? Really, I, I don't want to bore you. Come on, you know you're dark and mysterious. Of course I'm curious. How'd you end up in this mess? Well, first thing you should know is that I haven't always been a woman. My name hasn't always been Kalia, either. Yeah, let's not go with the second dialogue. Let's go with the first one. I don't... Understand, we shall say. Nobody decides who gets a second chance. It just happens. In some cases, you don't even get to choose how you come back. In my case, I used to be a man named Kai. This, what you see now, was his girlfriend when we both died. Uh, 
Well, it is the supernatural. What happened? You both died at the same time? So, somehow you died and went into your girlfriend's body. How did it happen? Overdose. Heroin. Callian got me into some pretty hard shit. And when I was still so young. She was a little bit older, and she was my first. She had me wrapped around her little finger. I was so dazzled with sex. Everything in my world seemed so new and fresh. It was easy for her to bend me any way she wanted. Uh, how old were you, exactly? We met in university. I was just 19. We got a batch from a guy that wasn't our usual hookup. The stuff must have been too pure, or laced with something nasty. But after we shot up, we were both on the floor. It wasn't until I came to my senses, days after I had eaten what was left of my own former body, that I realized who I was or what had happened. It wasn't until then I'd realized I'd become Chinmei and got a grip on things. <laughs> it's a miracle I'd made it to where I am today. Uh, why would your spirit take a body though? That's kind of crazy. Who knows? The universe has a cruel sense of humor, I guess. When the troubled spirit wills it, you come back. To fulfill whatever karmatic balance you upset when you were alive. Sometimes, the universe wills that you experience the second breath from a new perspective. Hmm. What do you think it means that you came back as the girlfriend you knew? When I was brought into Kuejin society, they introduced all these different dharmas to me. But the dance of the thrashing dragon really struck a chord with me. This love for life and experience sits well with me, I think. My purpose is to revel in all the things that I missed out on, dying so young. And to help others experience life, so they don't make the same naive mistake I did. It's just a sick irony that I have to do it through the body that led me astray in the first place. Hmm. That's an incredible story. Makes the one-night stand gone wrong sound pretty pathetic. Thanks for listening to me. Not many know that whole story. You're one of the lucky few, Bloodsucker. Anytime. Well, I could stare at the Pacific all night. But we're just about out of time. The sun will be up in an hour. I hope I don't need to tell you that's not worth sticking around for. Don't need to tell me twice. It's been a fun night. Maybe we can meet up some other time. Yeah, I guess this is good night. I think you know this is also goodbye. We may both be living in LA, but we're worlds apart. It's a pity. I had a lovely time tonight. Me too, thanks for a hell of a night. Hey, this it's the new kid the end. from court the other night. She's with a fucking Quay Jin. Hey, kid, are you a traitor or just stupid? She's a goddamn Quay Jin. Get lost. I don't care who she is. She's with me. She's cool. She's a life of the party. Helps me open up. I guess you're a traitor and stupid. We don't tolerate their kind on our turf, kid. Don't worry, though. We'll save LaCroix the trouble of scheduling your execution. Oh, we're not done yet, Callion. Let's school these nitwits. <laughs> Just want to see me it was. That was anything. Ah, I'm my sword. Get out. Thanks for sticking up for me. I know you didn't have to do that. I think we both really need to get the hell out of here now. That was pretty dicey. Maybe you should crush it mine until tomorrow night. Really? Really? That many drugs in your system, and that's how you're going to ask me back to your place? You know I wasn't reborn yesterday. I've seen the way you've been checking me out since we left Chinatown. Well then. 
If I'm such a bad liar, at least you know I mean it when I say I want you. <laughs> That's refreshing. Nothing quite turns me on like someone who knows what they want and isn't afraid to say it. Huh. Now I'm in bated breath, wondering who will end up on top. I wouldn't want to keep you waiting. Let's go. There may be more editing to come. Let's see how the night goes. Hmm. That's a hell of an experience of a night. Nice digs. You decorate it yourself? <laughs> I'm not going to Oh, lie. this is absolutely getting edited out. I've been oh, no. to try this for a while now. See if the fabled kindred live up to their reputation, I mean. Some people like to annotate this, but what do you say we just enjoy the silence? Back in my dusty old digs. And there's a note for me. I oh, thank you, Callion. That was a beautiful night. There's no emails for me to take note of. Oh. Yeah, I have a Chinatown friend now. Hmm. I don't know how much of that quest line I'll be able to keep in the video, but we shall see. But that was <laughs> a lot of fun. And I guess being forced to see the body of the one who brought you down a dark path. It's a pretty screwed up way to teach you a lesson, but who knows with the things we don't understand? Who knows? <laughs> well, let's see if we can find any other things to do in Chinatown before we go and rescue that uh, Going somewhere. daughter. So, back to Chinatown. Thank you very much for that. Mm, night. Night. Fun, fun night. And we will never see her again. How sad is that? And big, big buildings, big, big buildings. And, hmm. Let's see if we can check out any other shops. Nope, can't check out you. Can't check out you. I've been in Sangs. The White Cloud. Let's check out you. Ooh, fans. I could I uh, do love a nice fan. Even though it's colder weather still, it could get pretty nice and warm in a club. So it helps keep me cool. There is something in this door for everybody. Uh yeah. Everyone gets what they deserve. Hmm. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? He <laughs> I'm reminded of a story. A thief named Lin was asked to steal an emerald for the head of his gang. The gem belonged to a man in a Hong Kong triad. Most would refuse this danger. But Lin was anxious to do it, and indeed he did. Uh huh. When Lin returned, he did not want to part with the emerald he stole. He felt that the trouble he went through to take it made his ownership legitimate. The man who hired him did not feel the same way, nor did the man he stole it from. 
Do you know what happened to Lin? He's dead. Dead? Lin was caught. One man has his gem back, but Lin's employer has nothing. I'd heard this tale from him when he visited my store. Sadly, I had nothing to sell him. Uh, there a point to this? Lin's eyes wanted more than his hands could keep. Ambitious eyes are, sadly, not for sale here at the moment. Though I do have a buyer interested. Do you know when the next eye harvest is, by chance? Uh, I don't know. I guess I could go to an eye harvest? Lin's body is being kept in a freezer in the back of a local noodle shop I hear. There are people there who want him intact. But I think his eyes would fill my shelf nicely if they were to wander in. I gouge hell. A fitting punishment for Lin. Hmm. Eyes. Never stolen eyes before. Well, that's always the first time. Let's do some eyeballs. I knew you would. What other reason to waste words on the ill-fated? <laughs> I'm looking for someone real ugly, snooping type. Seen anyone like that? No. What's your story? How rude of me not to introduce myself. You may call me... Mr. Ox, this is my shop. Do you find it interesting? There are no two like it on the road to hell. Hmm, you sell weapons? I sell things many would find cruel. But weapons? No. Alright, I'm out of here. So, going to harvest some eyeballs. <laughs> Okay, let's go get some eyeballs. <laughs> hold on, hold on, bear with me, I'm gonna have to pause this. <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, no. sorry about that, bear with me, there was something. Oh, there was something. Oh, that's the Lotus Parlor. Okay. I just at the back of the noodle shop. I like noodles. Oh. It's one of these. He must have his eyeballs in there and has my lock picking. It's not bad actually. Very edible. I shall eat you whole. Drain you completely. Sweet. I'll take all that. Uh, what's in here? Hey, it's a dead body. Eyeballs. Oh, look at these lovely pixelated eyeballs. And that's the eyeballs done. Sure that. Ooh. Let's see if we can get it to the front. Oof. I am not gonna have the points to get that. Unless I put everything in that I build up over these next quests. I'm not gonna be able to access that. Because I got the feeling there's something very important in there. Alright, so, man, I got your eyeballs. I got your eyeballs. Here you go for eyeballs. I think they're looking at me. These eyeballs are looking at me. Take them away. You are always welcome here. Yeah, yeah, just, just take the eyeballs. They're looking at me, I don't like it. <laughs> Yes, 
They stare ambitiously. Hello, Lin. Do you like it there? These are an excellent addition to my shop. Here, please accept this as a fair trade. I have another task. If it piques your curiosity. Let's hear it. I need you to be a bad luck farmer. Do you know what this is? No, oh, but I'm interested what that hat relies on thing is. A poor translation? <laughs> oh no, no, no. No, no, no. What is a bad luck farmer? A customer has bought an unlucky talisman from me and wishes it delivered to an enemy of theirs. I need you to place this in the locker of a patron at the Lotus Blossom Massage Parlor so that the bad luck can bloom. That's all? Sure, I'll do it. My customer has placed a black circle on his enemy's locker. Plant to talisman. Bad luck, farmer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grab my hoe and do some farming. Let's see what I can do. So, what did you give me? Heart of Eliza. Oh, melee bonus. Nice. It is very pretty. And that's my bad luck talisman. Well, uh, we got two quests converging on a singular location. I shall park myself there and continue this at another point. Hmm. I don't know if I want to. We'll have a think about seeing what's in the noodle parlor. Okay, so let's pop in here. I shall immediately save. And then we'll have a party in the parlor. Oh, thank you for saving for me. Hey, dude. You might want to get out of here for what's about to come. But that's gonna wait until the next video. <laughs> yeah, there'll be some music overlay on that one because there's some <laughs> noises not for YouTube <laughs> well that was certainly a lot of fun so until the next one enjoy your eyeballs bye